Knights of the Great Legion, this is Master Max Edit 8 back with another Max Reacts. I have returned from my little vacation in the United States. It was a grand old time. I've got a lot of interesting footage which will be coming your way in the upcoming weeks, I would think. Uh, it'll definitely take some time for me to unpack all the footage to sort it out and produce some quality content, hopefully, from everything I've recorded, but um, definitely stay tuned for that. I've recorded some crazy things, a lot of interesting events happened while I was visiting the United States, but I've come back in one piece. Uh, people were very kind, for the most part. <laughs> there was some special individuals, but uh, we definitely, mostly, had uh, decent, very kind people, and I'm very grateful for that, so... I uh, had a great time with Max Chen visiting the United States, but now I'm back to business and this right here is by far the most requested video for me to take a look at. The first episode in the second season of Hell of a Boss, it's finally out and the episode itself is called The Circus. So something you've probably noticed is that we've skipped over the second part of the season finale of the first season. Uh, we did have the first part, uh, which I did react to, by the way. If you want to take a look at that, it's going to be linked in the description, video description. It was Ozzy's episode, so that was the first part of the season finale, but we didn't get the other one. I'm not sure when we will, but Vivzi just said, you know what, have the first episode of season two, and the second part of the season finale of season one is going to come out whenever it's going to come out. We'll just have to be more patient with that one. And um, I don't think it will be mentioned at all in this episode. So it's not going to have too much of an impact. So we, we, we should be fine regardless. Um, so we're going to be starting from scratch in a way? I don't know. I really don't know what to expect from this. I wasn't spoiled. Thankfully, with the other episodes, I always got spoiled on Twitter or Discord, <clears throat> but this one, nothing at all. Nothing at all. I know nothing about what happens in the circus. From the thumbnail, I would imagine it has to do with Stolas, the childhood of Stolas. So we're gonna see his family, things of that nature. So it seems to be um, uh, an episode centered around him, but um, I could be wrong. It's just from the thumbnail, again. I really don't have any kind of information on this one so this is a completely blind reaction to the circus the first episode of season two of hell of a boss so let's just get started without further ado you waited long enough for this let's start the show <clears throat> also it's extremely warm so i need to stay hydrated and you should too i'm sure it's warm where you live too Oh, hot damn! Birthday, it's his birthday! birthday. Woohoo! Birthday time! Calm yourself, young prince. You know excitement <clears throat> is unbecoming of a Goisha. Oh, right. But father told me today is the day I am old enough to know my purpose and responsibility. Of course, I'm sure it will be wonderful. This is incredibly adorable so far. Hot damn! Hello, Dad! There is my little, uh... Which son is this one? There are so fucking many. Stolas, <laughs> your highness. Stolas, yes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's the one. The owl boy. Well, my little one, it is finally your day of becoming a true part of the Goisha family. How good for you. Are you ready to know what you will be meant to do to serve hell? Yes, father. You will be entrusted with the study of the Earth skies, the stars, the prophecies they hold, all that stuff. Isn't that fun? You will begin the studies of your grimoire, which will grant you access to the mortal realm to study and observe, and you will grow to be a mighty prince of hell with your own legions to lead and pass on your knowledge to. I will do my best, Father. That's a lot of responsibilities. Wonderful. Also, son, you are destined to sire a precautionary addition to the Goisha family, so you are now engaged. Congratulations. Isn't she charming? <laughs> oh, 
That's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? <laughs> <laughs> that usually works. Oh, would you like it if I took you to the circus in town? Children enjoy the circus, right? Would that distract you enough from your non-negotiable future marriage? <laughs> God damn, poor Stolas. He was just put in a shit situation right spot at his job. the front, but also far enough that I don't have to uh, smell the poor. <laughs> Is this where I met Blitzo? <laughs> Possibly? Probably see Fitz a Rolly. Now! Everyone's favorite thing about sugar shit! The motherfucking clowns! <laughs> ready, Blitzo? Born ready. Sure enough! Sure enough! There they are! I did forget about them! Ha! Gotta proud of myself a little bit. It's been nine months since the last episode. Hey, folks, I remember. Me make a horse? Crap. Got it to work. Well, <laughs> it was a horse, but then it ate too much sugar and its leg stopped working, so it had to amputate. Now it's a gross worm horse. <laughs> See, he gets it. Because horses, they make no sense. Okay, Blitzo, that's enough horsing around. Hey, everybody, look at this. It's banana pudding, the clown horsey. <laughs> It's melting my heart. This episode is so cute. It was funny. Their legs do stop working when they eat too much sugar. It's called laminitis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a show! <laughs> that was real great. So, uh, <clears throat> that little clown you have, my son really enjoyed that one. I was wondering if I could buy him. Buy him? Purchase him. Yes. Accurate. My son doesn't have any friends, you see. And he liked the little clown boy. It's his birthday. He's so sad and I don't want to deal with him. Can I write a check? Well, Fizzeroli is a big draw. He has a few more shows to be in today, so it would be pretty expensive. <laughs> no, no. The other one. Yeah. Let's so. Correct. How much? Uh, well, well, he's my son, so... Uh, uh, how much you got in your pocket? A... Uh, watered up five and a slim fit condom. Yeah, that's plenty. That, Done. Splendid. That's enough Fetch to find his be on son. Yeah, okay. I banana pudding and I like to dance. I am warm I've horse. seen some horrible dads before, trust dad. me. That... That makes pretty high up. I have no legs. Oh, well that's okay. I lost my legs in the war. <gasps> the war? Yes, the great pirate war. No, no pirates. The great pirate war! If you keep talking about pirates, I will punch you. I fought bravely, but I could not run fast enough. They took my legs. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> Oh no, ew, no blood. Blood is disgusting. No, it's cool. <laughs> well, Banana Pudding is here to save the day. With his magical feet, he dances around with. He would dance all over Warren Morris and make him feel better. And then... This is hands down one of the cutest Hell of a Bus episode. What's so? That's so gross. Stop. <laughs> I got a job for you. You are gonna spend the day with one of the Goisha princes. Ew, why? Because money. Now listen carefully. <laughs> right. Money, five bucks. Playmate. 
but I want you to steal as much from those rich fuckers as you possibly can. Steal? But... What if I get caught? Don't you want your family to be able to buy a bigger tent? Better food? Don't you want to be able to help me and your mama out? Of course I want to help mama. Then you gotta do this. Everything those rich fucks have will be worth a fortune. Yep. But if I'm caught, I'm scared, Dad. There are scarier things, aren't there, son? But... <laughs> Yes, Papa. Again, real shit, Dad. So he didn't really fully sell him. He's just trying to make him infiltrate. Here is your new friend, my son. Uh, happy the royal birthday. estate. A friend? I guess. So Hi. he can steal. Uh, I'm Bledsoe. I'm Stoneless. It's nice. Ouch. Don't bother that one. He bows to us, idiot. Oh, right. Sorry, Father. I'm so good at daddying. <laughs> This is my book on the difference That should be official merch right there. I'm There's so good at daddying. And this is my book on plants and herbs. Did you know plants can hear you? Plants are boring. This is all boring stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never had a friend to share my books with. You know it would be fun. A game. Let's play. Treasure hunt. What's that? It's where we pretend we are pirates and we go around the house collecting all the nicest things and then we throw them out the window. We throw them out the window? Yes. Since when did pirates throw things out windows? Since like the dawn of time. Good question. Come on. Pirates are always throwing stuff out windows. I don't think they had windows. What, did a book say that? Yes, actually. Several. Well, in this game, we're throwing them out the window because it's fun. Well, that's an odd game. <gasps> Is this an imp game? Sure. Why not? Well, if it's what you want to play, let's do it. <laughs> I feel like Blitz is gonna have a change of heart. I don't know if he's gonna follow through with his father's plan. I'd be really surprised if he does. Or maybe he's gonna get caught as well. I don't know. We'll see. Seriously though, man, this episode is so awesome. Oh, right. There he is. Is he gonna do it? Ah, oh, shit. Blitzo! Over here! So what is that? Your diary? No. This is my new grimoire. It's a spell book. I have to learn it so that I can access the living world. The living world? Like the one with humans and stuff? Where the sinners come from? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yes. I'm supposed to learn to use it to study the sky. Why? My dad says I can find prophecies, but I don't really know. But I'm supposed to. That's what my job will be when I grow up to join the rest of the Goetia family. Well, you know what I'm gonna do when I grow up? I'm gonna run my own circus, and I'm gonna be the most famous imp ever, and I'll be able to do what I wanna do all day. I'm gonna make so much money and buy myself a big building with a big office. A big office? For a circus? Yeah, a big office. Circus business with clowns and horses. And the horses will all have good names, like Stapler and Biscuit Queen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That sounds like a good business. Yeah, and if you apply, I'll hire you. Maybe. <laughs> You'll hire me? Yeah, if I feel like it. Well, I hope I qualify. 
You'd be a good boss. You say that with sarcasm, but I totes would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Back to being an adult. Life is about to suck again. But to be fair, the it's bitch. no picnic being married to a boring stiff like Stolas. Stella, what in hell is this? Ugh, Stolas, you know I like throwing parties. Plus, it's true, so you can come if you want. He just lays there staring at the wall and I have to do everything. It's embarrassing. I'm glad one egg fell out of me so I could stop pretending to want to fuck his scrawny twig ass. Jeez, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hope this is the season she dies. <laughs> I, I hate that character, man. A pathetic fucking man. <laughs> She's just fucking wrong. We have absinthe, your highness. Bring me all of it. Stole us, sir! I'm fine. We got this nasty imp trying to sneak into your chambers. What should we do with him? Into my chambers, really? Oh, well, that is concerning. Uh, leave him to me. I will handle him accordingly. Follow me, imp. Yo, I thought we'd have one episode without any sexual implications. I really thought this would go without any of that. Look, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your, whatever, the party. I, I was just trying to... Don't bother with excuses. I know why you were here. You do? Yes. You were here to ravish me, weren't you? Uh... You got why so close, man. Why else into my room? You could have asked to visit, you know. It's been a long time, but I have a very good memory. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I, just, I could have done without it, you know. I'm yeah, well, uh, fine, yeah, it's fine, but I, I could have, all, I could have done without it. Scaled walls and slip on in it certainly is easier than going through your fucking staff. One would think you might be here for nefarious reasons if you are sneaking in during the cover of night. No, I wanted to crash the party, and it's always more fun, you know, to make an entrance. I recall how you enjoy making an entrance. So, over two decades since I last saw you, are you still a circus clown? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not anymore. No, I kill people now. Oh, <laughs> how afraid should I be? Well, I mean, how afraid do you want to be? Oh, well, um, well, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I was teasing. I don't really. Now you seem pretty tense. How about I help you out? There? Oh, Jesus. Um, you know, this is, um, getting a wee bit... Is it hot? I'm starting to feel it getting very hot. Oh, what are you doing? I barely remember your name. It's Blitz. Oh, didn't it have an O at the end? Like a clown name? I remember. Oh. Yeah, well, it's silent now, okay? So call me Blitz. Okay. Blitz, what are you doing to me? What do you want me to do to you? 
I, uh, well... Uh, oh, oh, my fuck! Wow! Oh, you are so forward, Blitz! Oh, what are we doing? No, no, stay down, damn it! Oh, so you like to command? You like being in charge, hmm? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, so you're a kinky little imp, are you? Do you like it when I talk to you dirty? Come on! I want you to me with your imp. Yeah. Get it all the way. I would have said get, get a room, you two, but, you know, they obviously already no, did. Stop it. Yes, if that's what Blitzy wants. Blitzy, oh my. never had anyone want me this way. You have no idea how long I've craved this kind of passion and how much it means that the one who wants me is my first ever friend. Oh. Alright, fine. I can do this real fast. Sorry, I fucked your husband. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Was the sound that connects of it a right to the divorce. first season? <laughs> oh my god. One out of a segue. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, stop! It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly woes all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with fear on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason, to birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this family, but it was never enough. The only reason I have endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out now. What do you mean? Out. I mean out! Out of this palace, out of my life! We are getting the divorce! How dare you! What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And Drelf is- I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks! And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over! I'm done! Fine. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You, you have fucking tell her stories, hell yeah! And I know you'll pay for it. <sighs> yep. She's 
still gonna try to kill him, that's for sure. Holy smokes, and that's the end! That brings us right to the end of the first one. The young voice actors did a tremendous job, by the way. They really, really did good with this. Like, by far my favorite, my favorite bit of this episode. I can't even speak. <laughs> I'm just caught with all kinds of emotions here. But yeah, that flashback to young Stolas and young Blitzo was beautiful. I honestly feel like that's my favorite part of, out of anything Hell of a Bus related. Okay, that just ends it there. Um, wow. That's just a whole lot of take in. That is a whole lot of take in. Like I said, it was just the most adorable, wholesome episode, and then um, Blitz and Stolas just got it on. Um, I really thought, like I said while I was reacting to this thing, I really, really, really thought we'd go through the whole episode without any kind of sexual stuff, I was like, okay, this is gonna be like a pure story-driven episode without them. I know it's, you know, part of their story between Stolas and Blitzel, don't get me wrong, I understand that it's part of it, but didn't expect for it to show them that way, which, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it just, it's fine, it's all fine, it's all part of their romance part of their um, relationship. But, you know, one thing I'm taking away from this is that Stolas finally told Stella to fuck off. Like, that is something I feel a lot of people have been waiting for, so to finally get this in this episode is brilliant. Um, only reason they got together was to get uh, an heir, and now there's Octavia, who's 17, so there's no more reason for them to stay together, but, of course, she's still gonna be around, she's still gonna try to get him killed, get Stolas killed. So Striker will be back for sure. Um, so yeah, great way to start off season two. Great way to start off season two. Just a brilliant beginning to the uh, second season. I don't know if the second episode of season two will be next or the second part of the finale of season one. You would think the second part of the first season finale would be first, but who knows? It's really up in the air with that. I'm not sure where it currently stands. You could inform me in the comment section, I suppose, if there's any information about the sec second part <clears throat> of the first season finale. But for now, we've entered season two. Um, I am still really hoping, and I'm crossing my fingers, for an entire episode dedicated to Luna. <laughs> I really want some of that. I want, I want more information about her character and her backstory and all that because we didn't get it so far. We got some episodes where she was featured a bit more, but like not a full on episode all about Luna. So I'm really hoping season two is going to be it. And this is where we're finally gonna get this because um, I think her character deserves one episode. Like she's part of the main cast. Let's just give her that one episode, please. But for now, we got to um, see a lot more about Stolas and Blitzo and their upbringing. Blitzo being part of the circus, one in a remain part of the circus, but of course things didn't quite work out. Um, so very interesting to um, see all these flashbacks and all these um, old memories about these characters, I suppose. I don't know. I. I <laughs> Was looking for the right words to explain myself, but that's that's what I'm gonna go with here But thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna stop it here I'll try to edit this video as fast as possible so I can get it uploaded and people can stop Requesting for me to make a reaction video about season two 
Oh, the first episode of season two of Hell of a Boss. I'm going to get this out as fast as I can. And uh, yeah, this video is going to be around 30 minutes long as well. So good time to stop it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join the Great Legions Discord server. Take a look at my Patreon page. It helps with all future uploads. And it's going to help with all the upcoming projects I have. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to upload some videos that relates to my little vacation in the United States. Uh, so lots of interesting things coming your way and of course I'm gonna be keeping track of season two of hell of a bus and upload my reactions whenever possible So that's really gonna be it for me. Thank you for watching once again and with that as always Take it away